Right, my own bun tag everybody, good morning. Now back on Dwarhan Island for three or four days again. And I'm with Gaffer, the big manager, who's here. Yeah, he's the manager, Gaffer, that's the one who's got all the boats here. So anyway, today we're just going to the seaweed farm, just have a quick look round. And then hopefully we're going to do a bit of fishing as well. So we'll see what happens. But I've got my fishing rod with me. So we'll just see if it's any good or not. So anyway, we'll carry on when we get to the seaweed place. Cheers. Look at this, how peaceful is this? Half past seven in the morning, 7.30 a.m. And everyone's just out. Look how flat the water is. It's perfect. No waves, nothing. Just nice shallow water again. And I've just been noticing zigzagging lines all under the water that have been tied down. And that's where they're um, planting the seaweed to grow on these lines. Then obviously once it's grown big enough then they'll detach them from the lines and then store them up into the boat as you've seen before. So I say 7.30am. Now I don't know if you can see the lines are in there. I don't know if the boat's going round or too quick or what but there's the lines already been planted where the seaweed's growing and as I say this is their main source of income here. Once the once the seaweed's grown, that's it, then they just pull it all up when it's big enough. And they put it all up on these decks to dry in the sun, the same as you do with the rice back in the province. And then that's it then, it's all bundled up, taken on the boats, and then sold by the kilo. Right, I don't know how much you can see of this on the camera, but as far as you can see, it's just all plastic oil drums. And they're all the markers, like the boys that they have in the water all the markers for all the different seaweeds and now the water depth is well I don't know I'd say about 20 feet at the minute but it's, uh, well, oh, it's more than that he said five feet but oh, no it looks miles down to the bottom but anyway he'd know more than me because this is his well, I don't know if you call it a field but I don't know this is his um, patch of land anyway so it amazes me how everyone even knows which bit of the ocean they own though, the people who harvest here, because there's just ropes everywhere under the water staked down with the seaweed growing. So, you know, it's just amazing that everyone knows who owns which bit. Oh yeah, you see it growing there. I mean, look at the water still, absolutely lovely and flat and we're a long, we're a long way away. Yeah, we're a long way away from land and it's still very, very clear and the water is extremely flat still. There's some more lines there with the seaweed growing. But yeah, you definitely won't get seasick on this boat anyway, it's beautiful. Because I'm not the best when it comes to rough weather on a boat, but I tell you, you've got no problems here. There's not hardly a ripple on the water. I couldn't think of a better way to spend a day instead of going work. If this was your business, you wouldn't mind leaving every morning just to go and plant this or harvest it and sell it. Right then, we've uh, arrived where we are and as you can see, it's still exactly perfectly flat. And we're, so we're miles out now from the land. Um, so I'm just gonna set the uh, fishing rod up now. I've got some squid that we cut up last night for bait. So I'm just gonna try my luck now and just see what we can catch here. But no, my look, it'll be nothing. So fished all over the world and blanked every time. So hopefully this this day will be different today. So we'll see what happens. 
Right, just to end the video off, you can just see some of the uh, seaweed being dried there on the platform. Well, they've, and they've all got the masks on, and that obviously because of the heat of the sun, they just burn up otherwise. Right, so basically, um, it's a good job everyone on this island doesn't um, rely on me for the fish because they'd have all starved to death by now because I didn't catch a single thing, so at least I know my bad luck works in every country. The only thing I've managed to catch is the sun today, but never mind, it's been a good day out and I hope you've enjoyed it. This video really is just to add on the end to part two because part two I didn't really get a lot done because obviously, like I said, we woke up late because we were drinking the night before. So really, I just wanted to just add this bit on the end just to show you a bit more of the island. So anyway, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Cheers. <laughs> and just before we go, <laughs> uh, look, see, the kids out swimming now, enjoying themselves, cooling off in the water. Look at that crystal clear. <laughs> you can't beat this for a Monday morning. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. See you later.